Dried salted cod, it's what my Italian ancestors called bacala, is very common in the cuisine of Mediterranean countries. Uh, the Portuguese call it bacalhau, mm -hmm. the uh, Spanish call it bacalao, mm -hmm. and uh, the Greeks, the Greeks also use it, they call it bacalhau. Didn't know it made it that far. It did. Yeah. <laughs> so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bacala tzatziki dip spread kind of thing. I've never done this before. We're just going to see how it turns out. Yes. Uh, so first we got the bacala. This, this is it. It's, it's hard enough to use as a weapon. <laughs> yes. So the first thing you need to do is rehydrate. Right. You can't use it unless you... So you did that for me. I did, and it's like... 48 hours of soaking with water, with like three changes of water a day. Yeah, yeah basically you yeah. soak it and you dump the water and you just yeah. try to get out some, you know, basically as salt. much salt out as yeah. you can. When you're done, then you have to cook it. Now you've rehydrated it. I won't say you brought it back to life because that's impossible. Um, <laughs> and what happens then, you cook it, you simmer it in water for about 20 minutes and you get, this is kind of, you get this, you get pieces like this. Um, and then that's easy to flake. See, mm -hmm. I can just flake it. And that's what we do. I flake it into this bowl. The rest of it's done. This started as about a quarter pound dry. Yes. Yeah. So it started about a quarter pound dry. All right. So um, the next thing I need to do then is make the tzatziki sauce. So I have two cups of plain Greek yogurt. And I'm going to put in uh, a cup of finely diced English cucumber that has been squeezed out. Um, so you I, need to get the water out of it. Right. So, so basically, first of all, the reason I use English cucumber is it doesn't have that big seed, uh -huh. really bad seed. So you can just use pretty much use the whole thing. You don't have to take all the. Uh, you peel it, and then you take, and then you can just but dice it up. You, you, well, if you dice it up to get the, the water out of it, you just put it on in um, uh, cheesecloth, and you twist it, and you squeeze and you get as much of the water out as you possibly can. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put in three cloves of garlic that I paste with salt. So what I mean by pasting is you give it a good smash, good solid smash, you break them all down, you put some coarse salt. It's kind of like sandpaper is basically what you're doing. Um, you're taking, you're putting the salt on it and then you do this and you use the salt to turn this into a paste, which then you can mix in really nicely. So see, I just turned this into a paste. I didn't use too much salt. Why? Because there's enough salt still in that cod. Yeah, I'm thinking that's <laughs> true. So I'm not going to mess around with that. I got two tablespoons of uh, fresh dill that I've chopped up really fine, almost dusty it looks like. And then I've got, this is juice of a half a lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix that all up. The thing that's always confused me is why all these countries that are surrounded by water with tons of fish have decided that dried salted cod from the north is, is something, to, you know, a delicacy for them. Yeah, for a long time I thought that the, the Norwegians had put one over on them, but it turns out that this mother load of cod was discovered in the ocean sea between uh, Newfoundland and Norway, but it was discovered by Basque fishermen mm. who are from that uh, little northern part of the Iberian Peninsula. And so, but they're a long way from home, so they would preserve it in salt. Uh, yeah, they'd catch it and preserve it in salt, and then they trek it on home and sell it to the locals there. And uh, this was in about the 1500s where they found this. And in about 150 years, it was the most popular fish in Portugal. Go figure. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but there was lots of it, and it was probably cheap. Well, it was cheap, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, they found, they had mm -hmm. these big schools, right? So big they would just, they no problem just sucking them right up and. So it was cheap, even though they had to go a long distance. Um, yeah, and I guess I guess also that um, that fish, fresh fish, didn't really make it very far inland in a lot of places, and so so probably on the coasts they ate a lot of fresh fish, but not not in the center so much. And we just discovered that I 
actually in Sicily not too long ago. Uh, we were staying about 20 miles inland in Sicily, and there was no fish store in the town. You had to go about you have to stay within about 10 miles of the coastline even to now, find, even can. now, it's to just the get way it's that always been, seafood right? tradition. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what you see, what I've done is I've taken the tzatziki sauce. I haven't used all of it. I'm just trying to get, uh, you know, the right amount. It looks like I've got, like, what I've got is tzatziki sauce with chunks of fish in there, little pieces of shredded fish. Mm -hmm. So I use probably about, I don't know, two-thirds, probably about two-thirds, maybe a little bit. Of, the, of what I made. So this actually has to sit for a while, okay? So it's gonna sit in the fridge for at least an hour, let all of those flavors come together. Uh, this other tzatziki sauce we'll use for something else. So we'll be back in about an hour and we're gonna to try to taste this. So we'll see you later. All right, so we've given it a chance for the flavors to kind of mix in a little bit. And I'm gonna taste it, Let's see how we, I actually could use a little more salt, so the, the fish didn't over overpower it. That is maybe a little bit, maybe this is maybe about, oh, I don't know, a quarter of a teaspoon, something like that. Um, and I did mention earlier, by the way, that I um, used diced cucumber. And every recipe you see is going to say grated cucumber. I just happen to like the fact that it, it's a little, you know, it's got a little chunky to it as opposed to just you know like very smooth and all that stuff all mushed in so here's a piece right. on a piece of some of the ciabatta that Donna mm -hmm. made earlier today this is homemade fresh ciabatta and let's see mm. good um, fish is kind of salt mm -hmm. yeah that's, which is kind of good, right? <laughs> it's dried salted cod, yeah. <laughs> so the fish, the fish is a little too subtle. It's nice. It's a good little spread. Yeah, there's a nice dip. Yeah. And there's a you got a little hint of fishiness in there. Yeah, that's yeah. all you want, right? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. All right. So as for as experiments go, I've done worse. <laughs> we'll see you next time.